Are you planning to visit your family or loved ones in, let's say, France, Switzerland, or any other Schengen state? Are you also from a non-EU country? If your answer is yes to both questions, then, just like me, you most probably need a Schengen visa. A Schengen visa is issued by any of the following countries. A multiple entry Schengen visa will also allow you entry into some other European nations. So if you are visiting family or friends or your loved one in the Schengen zone, you most likely need to obtain an invitation letter from them. So let's find out what is an invitation letter. So what exactly is an invitation letter? According to ShengenVisaInfo.com, it is a letter from the person who is inviting you who lives in the Schengen state that you want to go to or that you want to visit. So technically, the person who writes the invitation letter is the person who is in the Schengen zone, whether it be Switzerland, France, Italy, or Germany. However, you can help him or her write the invitation letter yourself. So what's included in the invitation letter? It contains the inviting person's name, his or her status in the Schengen country, whether he is a citizen, a permanent resident, or a permit holder, his or her contact information, which would include the phone number, address, and email. The invitation letter also includes your name, passport number, your purpose of travel, your relationship with the inviting person, as well as your travel dates, inclusive travel dates, and your travel itinerary. The invitation letter also includes the inviting person's signature and some necessary document attachments or enclosures. The next part would be a sample invitation letter that I have used on my travel to Europe. This is a sample copy of the invitation letter for the Schengen visa application. So first, indicate the date, uh, salutations, and the address of the embassy wherever you're going to submit the application. And then the title, invitation letter for the full name of the applicant with passport number indicated passport number and then the greetings again your sponsor or the person who is inviting you will be the one to write this particular letter or you might also want to do it yourself and ask him or her to sign it for you so dear sir madam i'm writing this letter to support the visitor visa application of uh, mr miss or mrs the full name of the applicant with passport number Indicate a passport number. I, the sponsor's full name or the person inviting you, legal permanent resident or whatever the resident status is in the Schengen state. Currently residing at indicate the complete address. I work as a indicate the job description, company name, and company address. And then in the second or in the third paragraph, indicate the applicant's details, applicant's name, country, okay, and uh, uh, in that same paragraph, explain the relationship with the visa applicant. So indicate the complete address, phone number, and you can also add the email of the applicant as well. If you had previous visits uh, to a particular Schengen state, then indicate them as well. On the next paragraph, indicate the purpose of uh, the visit. Okay, so also include the entry date and the exit date, specific dates. And if you're going to reside with the person who is inviting you, you can indicate this one or change this one as well. If not, you can remove it. So. For the second to the last paragraph, um, include what type of visa you are requesting. And if the person who is inviting you will be assuming full financial responsibility, please include that as well. 
So attachments, there would be several attachments for this one. For a person who's inviting, usually they would ask you to have the salary statement, residence permit, and the house title or apartment contract. So closing in with the sponsor signature, name, complete address, mobile or telephone number, and the email. So those are the different things that you can include in your invitation letter. So from page three of the Schengen visa application form, uh, number 30, it's asking for the surname and first name of the inviting person in the member state. So you have to include the name, the full name of the inviting person or the one who will be writing your invitation letter. Um, also, you have to include the address and the email address of the inviting person or if you're going to stay with him or her, you have to include his or her address. If not, then include the address of your hotel as well as the telephone number. Okay, so that's for number 30. Sometimes the, inv uh, the inviting person will also be sponsoring your trip. So the inviting person has to write a sponsorship letter as well. So we'll be discussing the sponsorship letter in my next videos. In conclusion, an invitation letter is a necessary part of your Schengen visa application. If the purpose would be to visit family, friends, or your loved one. Take note, there are instances wherein if you are supplied with an invitation letter, the embassy would also ask for a sponsorship letter. I hope you found this video quite resourceful in writing an invitation letter. If you still have any questions, please leave a comment down below or send a message on my IG. So let's connect. See you on the next videos. Bye!